Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Susan Day and I am the owner and artist of Poor Girl Art. This week we're making this gorgeous tumbler. Guys, this is, I think, my new favorite glitter. This is Hepburn from Counterculture DIY. And as usual, guys, I will link my products down below in the description box. Uh, this was a really fun project, guys, so let's get started right away on it. Of course, I started by sanding my tumbler really well with some 80 grit sandpaper and then I washed it off. Now I'm going to put two coats of this pop of color paint. This color is Bordeaux. It is absolutely gorgeous, guys. And I love this pop of color paint. And I think I've told you before, I really like these wide brushes. This one is from Counterculture DIY. This is a really, really nice brush, soft bris bristles, gets good coverage and it spreads the paint really well in the process you want to eliminate all of those streaks and lines if you can guys i should mention that most of this video is sped up to some point so that we don't have this go on forever and ever i don't think you guys want to watch a two-hour video so there's that so here we go now i've got two coats of paint on my tumbler i let that dry really well for a couple of hours and i am going to use the mod podge method of applying my glitter today this isn't my favorite method but i do use it and i do want to show it to you guys of course my favorite method is to use resin to apply my glitter and here again, guys, you want to get a nice even coat. You want to eliminate as many streaks and lines as you possibly can when putting your Mod Podge on your cup because those will show under your glitter. And this brush that I've got here is just a Walmart brush. I think I get them three for like $5 or some crazy price. Super cheap, but they do a really nice job. Again, they're very soft bristles, which makes it easy to spread that glue and not leave a bunch of streaks behind. You want to get your cup very evenly coated. You want to take your time with this guys all right touch up that bottom just a little bit this stuff dries fairly quickly depending on the temperature of your room so you want to get right after that glitter and like i said this is the hepburn glitter from counterculture diy guys the pictures and the videos do not do this glitter justice it is absolutely stunning look at that color i'm going to coat my entire tumbler with this and because I painted my cup a matching color, I only needed one coat. And I like to do the top and the bottom rim of my cup first. Those tend to dry the fastest, I think. And then I'm gonna fill in between. Look at that shimmer. Oh my gosh, I love this glitter. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Okay, once my glitter dried, again, I let it sit for a couple of hours. I moved right into my resin, and I am using the Counterculture DIY Fast Set Resin. This is my favorite resin for cups because it is fast set. It dries to the touch in about two hours, full cure in three days. This makes getting your cups done really quick and really easy. One thing about this glitter is it does tend to have a lot of bubbles. So you want to be sure and use that torch to get those micro bubbles out of your resin. And again, guys, I know I put my resin on weird. I don't worry about how it goes on. The only thing you need to worry about is getting a nice even coat, getting it spread all over your cup. Pay a special attention to that rim and to the bottom edge. You don't want to get that bottom edge gloppy. You want to be careful of that. Okay, and guys, I have told you before, I am no vinyl expert, so I did not show cutting or putting this vinyl on. I'll leave that to the pros. 
I do my I do my best, guys. That's all I can tell you. Sooner or later, I get it figured out. But honestly, if you want lessons in how to put on vinyl, you're going to have to watch somebody else because I'm not an expert. Once I get better at it and more accustomed to it, I probably will do more videos where I put the vinyl on. I am putting a coat of resin over top of this vinyl. I want it nice and smooth before I start painting on my flowers. Here we go. And I'm using again the pop of color paints. Guys, this is my favorite paint. I love this paint. It goes on so nice. It's a chalk paint. So it covers really well. It's got a really nice finish and the colors are insanely gorgeous. So guys, when you're painting your handmade flowers, don't get too uptight about how they look. Just go with the flow. Uh, these are gonna be the cabbage roses. All you need is sort of a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You don't want a perfect circle. Just kind of a round shape is all you need here. So I'm laying down my basic shape. Now I'm gonna add some lighter color to that. I did put two coats of paint on these flowers, guys, um, just to get the good coverage over top of that dark, dark burgundy color underneath. Now that I've got my two blue flowers on there, I'm going to add some daisy type flowers in the Bordeaux, which is the color I painted my cup. I am gonna add some blush to these to add highlights and lighten them up a little bit. It's a nice subtle touch, guys, and it will look really pretty when it's all done. And you can see I'm just painting basically straight lines together to form a circle. This isn't hard. Don't make it any harder than it needs to be, guys. Keep it simple. A lot of times I think people get freaked out when trying to hand paint on cups. And the other thing is, if you mess this up because you've put that layer of resin underneath them, you can wash these off. All you need to do is take it to the sink, some warm water, a little soap, and it will come off. And I'm going to do a couple of more of these flowers in smaller sizes just to kind of fill in down here. Now guys, this is real time. I haven't sped this part of the video up at all because a lot of times we speed up our videos and it gives the wrong impression that we can do this really fast and easy. This does take a little time but just relax and let it flow and I promise it'll all turn out good in the end. So I got my flowers on. Now I wanna add a few leaves here and there. Um, most flowers have leaves and I think it just rounds out the whole design really nicely. I'm still using my pop of color paints. They're my go-to. And guys, I will again link C Counterculture DIY to this video. When you use that link, you get an automatic little discount. So that every little bit helps, guys. And I hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and be sure to hit the bell so you're notified when I release new videos. Okay, we've got those flowers painted on. I put a couple on the other side, but I didn't want to punish you guys watching me paint those as well. So I'm going to seal this paint with a coat of resin just real quick. This is going to be a very thin coat. And that's all done. So now I can paint the details on my flowers. And what I used for this, guys, was a chrome pen. And that is the brand, is chrome. And this is a silver, but it's actually a real chrome color. I love these pens. I don't use them a whole lot and I'm not gonna lie they are expensive. 
I will link the manufacturer down below so you can find them. I don't have a discount code for these guys. I wish I did. And all I'm going to do here simply is outline my leaves. Now I'm just going to draw a little kind of kidney bean shaped blob in the center of my flower. And I'm just going to draw my petals around the outside of that. I'm just going to work my way around. These don't have to be perfect. Don't make them perfect half circles. Kind of wiggle the pen a little and make your leaves odd shaped. It just looks a little more natural, I think. But again, don't stress about this. If you need to practice ahead of time, get yourself a ballpoint pen or a gel pen and some paper and just practice. And that's, that's how I learned to make them. Then after I get all my petals on, I go ahead and put a second line around each of the petals towards the tips. It just adds a little extra detail, I think. I'm going to do the second cabbage rose exactly the same way. And this ink is permanent. These chrome pins are permanent. So if you make a mistake here, quick grab some isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip or a paper towel and use that to wipe it off. But I will warn you that when these dry, they're there forever. These don't come off easily. And here again, I'm going to add a little extra line to the outside edge of each one of those petals. And if you guys want me to do uh, these flowers on a large scale tutorial so you can really see how I draw them well, I will do that. Just drop me a comment below and let me know you'd like to see that. I'm always happy to do things to help you guys. Okay, and for these daisy-like flowers, guys, I'm just going to make a double loop around each one of those petals, just like I did the leaves. And then I'm going to simply put a dot in the middle, add a little detail to each petal, and that's it. These are not hard. And I don't want you to stress over this. This should be fun. Like I said, if you're not comfortable doing these on your cup right off, just grab a piece of foam core board or a canvas or whatever you have handy and practice a little bit on drawing these flowers. I think once you get started, you'll find out that they're really fun to do. I really enjoy these. I wish I could put hand-painted flowers on all my cups because if I could, I would.
Once I got all my lines drawn on, I let this paint dry for a good hour. The chrome paint does dry fairly quickly. Uh, but again, you want to make sure it's completely dry. If it's not dry and you start to put resin on, when you rub over it with your hand, it will smear and it will be smeared forever. There's just no way you'll have to strip your cup and start over. So do make sure this is good and dry. Give it plenty of time. And there you go, those are all done. Now I did speed up this time, this side because you did just sit and watch me draw all those lines. So this side I sped up. I didn't think you wanted to sit here for another 10 minutes and watch me draw lines. That just doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun. And that was it for this cup, guys. After this pen dried, I went ahead, I added two coats of resin just to give it a good finish. And here it is when it's all done. I really love this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.